Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. My name is Kelly. I am a customer support specialist here at Next Chapter. And I'm just going to go over our filing boot camp. Um, it's just kind of taking you through a few sections in Next Chapter and showing you what it looks like to file and what that process is. So the first thing I'm going to go over is um, getting into that case. So when you look here, this is your homepage. And you'll have your list of recent cases that you've been working on under here. Um, so to go into any of your cases, you can just click on any of them. Let's get into Rosie Riveter. So once you have all of your data entered, you feel like you're ready to look things over, possibly download, possibly file. Um, this is when filing bootcamp would be a good webinar for you to watch. So the first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you have all of your forms that you want to file with your case. So next chapter automatically generates um, an entire packet for you. And a good way to see all of the forms that next chapter automatically generates would be clicking this preview button. So once you click preview, you can see on this left hand side, all of the forms that are automatically generated by next chapter. So you have the voluntary petition, schedule A, B, all the schedules, um, the matrix, means test, disclosure of compensation, all of these forms are automatically included in your packet. But a lot of districts need to file maybe additional um, forms with your, with your petition. So let's say you need to also include your certificate of credit counseling. Um, what you'll do is you'll want to make sure you have that saved on your computer first, and then you can go down to additional documents, client document storage. This is where you can add any additional forms that you'd need for your case. So if we look in here, we can see we have quite a few forms already saved in here, but if you need to add any more, just click add file. Once you click this, you can browse your computer and find any document saved um, on your computer and then open it and save it to the storage. You can also, maybe you have it saved on your desktop or something, you can drag and drop that file right here. Um, so once you add all of these forms that you might need, a lot of people add the certificate of credit counseling. Here we have the declaration for electronic filing, um, maybe pay advices or the installment fees. Once you have these added, you can assign an event code to these forms. So here we selected the event code from the dropdown certificate of credit counseling. Different districts have different event codes to assign to each of these forms. So right now I think we're in Florida Middle, which as you can see has quite a few event codes. What these event codes do is allow you to file this form with your case, but separately from the packet. So the entire packet includes, it can include up to like 80 pages, but a lot of the courts like like these forms to be filed separately. And that's where these event codes come in. Once these event codes are assigned properly to the forms, they will be filed properly with the court. And if you ever need to know how, like which event codes we have available for your district, you can just come here and search the dropdown or you can search on your case dashboard under updates and news. If you click on your district notes, this tab right here, it will take you to a help center article that shows you what separate event codes we have for your district. So once everything is added in client document storage, you might want to move on to download and print. So one thing we haven't talked about so far is the statement of social security. Next chapter doesn't um, store the full social on anywhere on this app. It's just because we're cloud-based, so it's a security measure. We don't want anyone's for full social just stored out there on the cloud. So what we recommend doing is B 
before you go to review and file. So before you file the case, always come to download and print if your district is a district that requires the statement of social security. Come to download and print in the far right hand column, click add SSN form 121. Once you click that, you'll see that it's populated here in this right hand column. It's usually in a light blue box. And this is how you'll know, okay, yes, it's been added for my downloads, I can download it. So once it's added here, you can proceed to download. Once you click download in that bottom right section, you'll have to enter the full social again. This is again, just because we don't store it anywhere. So anytime that you download this form or a complete packet, you'll always have to re-enter the social. It's just a security measure and that's why we, why we require it. So once you have your full social added, you can also choose to remove the e-signature lines, it's completely up to you if you need your client to come in and sign the documents, whichever you need, you can click. Once that's all ready, you can click download. So once your form is downloaded, you'll get this hooray message, and this will pop up anytime you successfully download anything. Once it's downloaded, you can see, you can either click complete or you can click this orange box that shows you exactly what you downloaded. So we downloaded the SSN form. We can click on it, save it to our computer. And then once it's saved on your computer, when you go to review and file, it will be ready for you to add it to your case. So if we go back to download and print, I'm just gonna refresh here. We can also see how to download a complete packet. So when you go to download and print, you'll see these three columns here. The first column shows your available forms and documents. This is everything that you've saved in client document storage. And it's also everything that Next Chapter automatically generated. To download a complete bankruptcy petition, you can click this middle drop down and click complete bankruptcy petition. This will pull over all, all of the forms that Next Chapter automatically generates. And then it will also pull over in this right hand column the statement of Social Security and the creditor matrix text file. If any of these you need to add to the packet, you can do that. So, like, let's say this is a I don't know, like an attachment for Schedule AB. You can just drag and drop it wherever you want within the packet. So we'll put it right beneath Schedule AB. Okay, so someone's reporting that they don't have sound. I'm hoping, does anyone else have sound? If you can hear me. We're just gonna keep going for now. So in your packet, you can drag and drop these forms anywhere you want. They don't have to be in this specific order. They can go in whatever order you want. If you've rearranged the packet to however you want and it's different from how we automatically set it up in complete bankruptcy petition, you can come down here and click save new download template. So once you click that, you will be prompted to enter a title. It can be whatever you want, whatever it is to help you remember what the template is. So we'll just put new template. And then you can save and close it. So the next time you come to download, you can just select that template from the dropdown in the middle column. Again, once you feel like everything is assembled properly, you can proceed to download. And it's exactly the same as how we showed you with um, the statement of social security. Okay, so let's say you want to download amended forms. You can come to this middle drop down, select amended forms, and then you can just drag and drop those forms wherever you want. So let's say you only need to download, like these three are amended and that's all we need to download. You can put these three in the middle column and then proceed to download. 
This is the same thing. You can do this if you just want to download one form and that's it. You just want to see how it looks. You can just drag and drop that form to the middle. Um, it would be the same thing with emergency filing. You select emergency and it pulls over the forms required for the emergency. So we try to do a lot of that work for you so you're not having to drag and drop everything, but if you need to, you have that option. Okay, so let's say you've entered everything in the case, the client has looked it over, everything looks good, and you're ready to file. At that point, you can come down here to review and file. Awesome, thank you guys for letting me know you have sound. I really appreciate that. Okay, so there is a question here about amended forms and whether or not you have the capability to file them. If you're in a district where we allow post-petition filing, you can file those after your initial filing. It will look exactly the same as what I just showed you in download and print, only you're in review and file. Um, that is free because you only pay for the first download or filing of your case if you're on that start plan. However, there are some districts that do not allow post-petition filing. In that case, you would want to just download the forms as amended and then upload them manually to the court. Okay, so moving on to review and file here. When you get to this point, the first tab is review. And here you'll say, you'll want to see all these green check marks. You'll see seven, you should see seven. Right now we're in production, so this is kind of irrelevant to us, but in terms of what you guys wanna see, everything should be a green check mark. If you have an exclamation point in red, you can just click the help button. It will tell you exactly why that button that is shown in red, and then it will tell you basically how to fix it. If you click review, it will take you directly to that section where you can edit that information. Okay, so once you have all your green check marks, you can move on to assemble. In assemble, this looks almost identical to download and print. Um, the only difference is all of those event codes that you assigned in client document storage, you'll see those on the right hand side. So here we see on this right hand side, the certificate of credit counseling and it looks like we just have to fill out a little bit of required information. So this is asking, when was it completed? So we'll just make up a date. And then you can see this is in light blue. It's your credit counseling certificate that you've already added to client document storage. Same thing with your declaration for electronic filing, it just needs a title. And then again, you see it in blue. The only thing that you'll notice is missing is this statement of social security. And again, that's because we do not store it anywhere on this app. So what you'll do when you'll get to this point is since you've already downloaded it, you can just click add file and then browse your computer for that file that we saved previously when we were in download. Then you can choose complete bankruptcy petition. This is good to know. It looks like you'll wanna select your packet before entering any of this information. So we'll enter our date again, and then our title. So again, you see all of these forms that are included. If you need to add anything else, maybe an attachment, maybe you wanna rearrange them, you can. Also, just like download and print, you can come here and save a new filing template. So once this is all assembled, everything looks good, you can move on to file. This is just a pop-up saying, okay, are you sure you're ready? Yes. Even when you press yes, you're still not going to file. It's just another precaution. So once you get to this screen, you'll have to choose your division. And again, those will look different depending on which district you're in. Enter the full social again. You can choose to leave today's date or you can 
have another date. If you choose another date, you can just select that. We'll leave it as today. And then once everything looks good, all the information here is entered, you should see start ECF filing in orange. You can also at this point choose to preview your filing. If you click preview, you're just gonna be previewing all of the forms again. You can X out of here. It's just one step before maybe you wanna file. It's totally up to you if you're ready, then go ahead and just press start ECF filing. So I'm not gonna press it now because we are on our production site, but you guys feel free to press start ECF filing. It usually takes a few minutes. Um, you don't have to sit there and watch it file. You can work in other windows. It's just, it, it's something to know is that it will take a couple minutes. Um, so that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, I'll check over here. If you, so I see another question, can you file the remainder of schedules through next chapter if you are filing an emergency petition initially? Depending on your district, if your district allows post-petition filing, then yes, you can file, you can file the remaining forms. If you are in a district where we only allow the initial filing, then you would have to file the emergency through next chapter and you can just file the um, additional forms manually with the court. Um, so if we don't have, if you guys have any other questions, you can feel free to email them to support directly. It's support, the email address is support at nextchapterbk.com. You can also always chat us, just clicking this orange button will pop up, start a new conversation. You can ask any of us any question, we will be here to answer it. So that's all I have for now. Again, feel free to email me your questions and I hope everyone is staying safe out there. Thanks.